The funny thing about Google Glass is the expectations clearly exceed the reality. The first thing people want to do is take a picture and have their picture taken. But after a few awkward voice commands, they're ready to take it off and admit that it's pretty cool, but there's just not that much you can do with it right now. But we're starting to see developers stretch their legs in terms of what you can do. In addition to what's available right out of the box, you can now get hourly updates from the New York Times app, send and receive tweets, and upload videos directly to YouTube with the new full screen Beam app. There's also plenty of apps coming soon, like Evernote and others. But some developers aren't waiting around. A few have successfully rooted Glass, allowing them to run apps that Google otherwise wouldn't approve. One app, Winky, enables you to take a picture discreetly just by winking. Another lets you run the full Android desktop right from the eyepiece. The Explorer edition of Google Glass was designed so the developers could try new things, but the speed at which it was rooted has caused some to speculate about the downsides of an ever-present microphone and camera. Someone could, in theory, tap into your glass without you ever knowing, but for right now, hacking glass requires physical access, and hopefully, it'll stay that way. Right now, glass is a concept physically manifested. It's an expensive accessory that has far more potential than it has functionality, but that's okay. As units arrive on the stoops of developers, we'll undoubtedly see the number of apps expand pretty quickly. Glass will be a playground for the imaginative, and though we'll experience some growing pains, people are excited, and ultimately, that's what matters.